South Africa runs the largest HIV treatment program globally, one that's been under pressure since the United States cut health funding to Africa. Now the focus is shifting towards prevention as the country prepares to launch a breakthrough jab that could transform a drawn-out battle against the virus. Although we face many challenges, we also have new tools, including lenacapavir, a powerful new injectable for HIV prevention that could help South Africa reach its goal of ending AIDS as a public health threat. At Johannesburg's Tambo Memorial Hospital, patients are treated for uncontrolled viral loads caused by defaulting on treatment. If the patient has suppressed viral load, he will not uh, spread the HIV virus to the other partner. When the viral load is not suppressed, the CD4 will be low. And then patients will keep on having opportunistic infections. We cannot treat patient. We cannot say a patient is treated if viral load is high. Poverty, stigma and substance abuse are all factors that keep people from taking medication regularly, making Lena Kapavir an ideal tool to stop HIV in its tracks. Currently, we are not reaching the goals that we want to achieve for viral suppression. We are getting more and more new patients coming with new viruses. And we are actually very anxious. We will be glad to have something that patient has to take less often. And then they can be on once in a few months' time an injection that will suppress. The injection could be available in South Africa within months after successful clinical trials across the country. It's the first time uh, we see in an HIV prevention uh, medication that shows 100% uh, prevention in the women that received the injection. Uh, they did not get HIV while they were on the, uh, or on the PrEP. Uh, compared to those that uh, received uh, uh, oral PrEP where a few uh, uh, still got HIV infected. And uh, in other studies, the results also showed over 95% uh, HIV uh, prevention. So it's really astonishing results. A major stumbling block is the costs, which is twice as much as oral alternatives. So too is the partnership with the United States, which has been in question amid strained relations. PEPFAR has been the, the, the largest funder of both treatment and prevention for 20 years, and they've funded over 90% of, of the PrEP programs historically, and they're a huge partner with the South African government. Uh, they announced last week that they were going to start re-engaging in PrEP, and particularly around lenacapavir. South Africa is awaiting the green light from the Health Products Authority, SAPRA, to make the drug available in public health facilities. The rollout is expected to start slowly and it could be a turning point in the HIV battle. Julie Shar, CHTN, Cape Town.